Hi everyone. Um, just heading out on another ride today. Uh, heading out to the Mendips today. So I've just made my way from Western. I'm out at the um, beginning of locking at the moment. Uh, just following the cycle route out. It's really easy. Um, trying a different way of logging my ride today. So I've got the Relive app. I think it's called Relive, um, which Paddy Mason Byrne uh, recommended the other day. So I've got that going in, on in the background and then I've got my route um, being uh, shown to me or my way being guided by Google Maps today because um, Google Maps has a cycle option on it and Apple Maps doesn't and I don't know why still. Um, bike seems to be holding up pretty well. Just checking the back tyre. Um, had a few bumps on the way out, a couple of um, tree roots that have overgrown through the path and they were you know a little bit bumpy but the bike was fine over those nothing major um, so fingers crossed we should be all right take me about another hour or so to get out there and I have no idea about the climbs I know I'm about to do a slight hill but I have no idea about the rest of the climbs on the way out so um, I'll try and document it as best I can and I will definitely um, check in when uh, when I get out to Mendips because I'm expecting the views to be pretty spectacular but it's a gorgeous day absolutely beautiful day lovely to be out here i kitted myself up i've had to take the gloves off um, because i was just way too hot with the gloves on i've opened up the vents on my jacket um, i've got a, a base layer i've got a base layer on and a t-shirt and i could probably do without the jacket at the moment but um, i don't have any uh, bags or anything on the bike so i'm struggling to figure out where i can store it i might try and take it off and roll it up and put it in my pocket um, because at the moment I really don't need it. Wind is behind at the moment, so it's helping me a little bit. It's not too strong today. It's been really windy over the last couple of days, but it's not too strong at the moment, so hopefully it won't cause any problems on the way back. Anyway, I'll check in with you soon. The jacket that I was wearing continues to amaze me. The other day I found a pocket in the bottom of it, um, in the back of it, which it packs up into itself, which is fantastic, and then, there are a couple of tabs, Velcro tabs here, which I thought were maybe like cinch straps. So you could like roll it down and keep it really compact. But of course, no, what they're for is for attaching it to your bike. So I'm gonna put it onto there, onto the crossbar. And then it also doubles, because there is a little bit of room in it once you've rolled the, the jacket up, it also doubles as a little bag. So I've just put my Allen key set in there and my snacks. Um, and without any bag on the bike, now I have one. Uh, and I've found out that the, um, the sleeves come off as well. So the sleeves completely detach and you can have it as a vest if you don't need the sleeves on. So this thing's brilliant. Um, I bought it years and years and years ago. It's in incredible condition. Um, it does need re-waterproofing. So I have ordered some uh, waterproofer, um, but I'm so glad I've kept hold of it because it is fantastic. Oh, hey, just did an awesome climb from um, kind of the lock-in area all the way up to wherever we are now, um, past Banwell, anyway. Um, I'm picking up a couple of the small, quiet country roads, which is pretty good. There's not much traffic around, obviously. But um, yeah, pretty tough going up the hills. Legs are feeling it. But it's, uh, it's a good spot. It's a good track. Out on the strawberry line and then leave that and head up, head up towards the hills. Oh, I've had to get off to walk for a bit. It's killing me. Big climb up uh, Shipham Lane up towards Hel Holloway Lane. Anyway, big climb. It's killed me the last bit. So let's just uh, show you the view from here. It's pretty spectacular. Look at that. Don't know how well it will come off on the camera, but isn't that beautiful? That's Wales and the Bristol Channel. And looking back down towards Western and where we've come from. Spectacular view, beautiful day. Oh, I feel better now, I'm not pedaling. <laughs> Great, look at this bloody hill. <laughs> anyway. 
onwards and upwards. Always make sure you shut the gates properly. All right, here we go. So the path has actually turned into a bit of a track. So I'm just sort of seeing where it leads. I'm just gonna shut this gate. I'm just kind of seeing, oh shit, it's gone. The gate's gone right away the other side. Um, just kind of seeing where it's leading and if the track kind of improves or gets any better for the bike. Otherwise, it might be a case of ditching the bike and walking. I really want to get to the Mendips today. I've got about four miles to go. Um, and, you know, I didn't make it the other day. I really want to make it today. So but this is just beautiful. Listen. So quiet, so peaceful. It's gorgeous. Isn't this stunning? Beautiful, beautiful countryside. All right, well, I did it. I got into the Mendips. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna climb that hill. Mm, no thought about going up here and getting and going kind of further into the heart of the Mendips but I do have to make it back at some point <laughs> and I'm still pretty green so um yeah I don't think I'm gonna do that I found this place um let me see if I can get the sign in a second um lily pool camping so I've added that to my list um just a little bit further out than uh, uphill campsite so um can bring some stuff out here to try it out and it's a bit of a quieter area and we can do a bit more of a um a bit more of an adventure i suppose um can get out here and do a few more walks and and things rather than just kind of not even a mile from my doorstep so so lily pool camping um looks really nice um, nice modernised kind of farm buildings and things back there. Um, I think you can actually stay in them. I think that's accommodation. And then I'm assuming this field just behind me is for is for camping. But yeah, beautiful little spot. Made it into the Mendips. Um, could probably keep going, you know, get a bit further in. Um, if you follow this road in, you can hang a left at some point and it'll take you into Cheddar. Um, but I'm starting to feel it a little bit and I still have to get back. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, ease my way into it. Um, it would be another double, double digit ride, which I'm okay about. And I still have to climb that hill <laughs> to get me out of here. And I'm expecting there'll be a few more on my way back as well. So um, yeah, let's head home. Just came to see these guys before I head off. <laughs> I think they think it's, dinner time <laughs> but it's not fellas sorry uh, fellas and lasses oh look there's a little lamb cute uh, very cute whoa the wind is killing me on the way back I knew it was behind me on the way out 
but uh, ooh, it's right into my face and I was wrong there are a couple of hills so I'm feeling it but I'm doing alright I feel pretty good my legs are burning but it feels great so I'm pretty pleased it's going okay so that's it made it home in one piece bite still together holding up all right um it was a good ride um really enjoyed getting out there and um it was a challenge in places but it was it was enjoyable it was good i i, I liked it um i think the next one i do will be out to cheddar and i think i'll do it mainly on the roads um but yeah thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed it um it's a beautiful day get out there enjoy it um yeah, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.